guys. So, um, it's Katie. It's been a little while. Um, and for those of you, let me zoom out a little bit. For those of you who've been watching for a while, this is the first setup that I've had. Um, when I first started videos, this is where I would film. I'm literally at the foot of my bed and it's not made or anything and my room's kind of messy, but that's okay. So, um, I have a makeup tutorial for you guys today. I haven't done one in quite a while. So let me zoom in and show you guys what's going on here. It's a little bit different for me. Most of the colors I use today are uh, Bare Minerals colors. You got lots of blues and a little bit of ruby reds and black. So it's a lot less um, neutral colors. I'm also filming a vlog today, probably all throughout the day. I've already filmed half of it because it's just kind of a follow me around vlog. So anyway, I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to let you get on to the, tor t the, 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 the tutorial. <laughs> so um, I will talk to you soon. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is actually apply my concealer. I'm not going to put on any foundation. I haven't been recently because I think it looks better when I just put on concealer. So I'm using um, the Maybelline, I believe it's the Fit Me Concealer. Um, and I'm going to apply this right on the inner corners of my eye. And typically I just kind of pat it around that area and bring it around the rest of my eyes. And down my nose. And then I'm actually going to apply um, my eyeshadow primer. I'm just using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, like I always do. I'm just going to let that kind of just sit there for just a second while I conceal the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm, now I'm just going to take it around the redder parts of my face. So I'm going to do this around the nose. Just a little bit though, because this stuff kind of a little bit goes a long way. And now I'm just going to take a little, like, a really small amount and dot it right on the center of my lids. And I'm going to pat it on, on there, too, just to kind of even out the discoloration that may exist on my eyelid, which I know it does. Now to set everything, I'm just going to use my Revlon Color Stay um, setting powder. Now I'm actually going to start with this on my lids because I know that that's where the concealer is going to crease. If it's going to crease anywhere or cause any kind of mess at all, it's going to be on my lids. So I just make sure to do this and make sure I put a good amount of setting powder there. So I take, just kind of swirl it around once, um, use my wrist to get off any large amounts that are extra, and just kind of swirl it around my face. And whatever is left, I just bring up onto my forehead. Um, I have really dry skin, so uh, it's pretty dangerous when I use setting powder because a lot of the time it makes my face look really, uh, really dry and flaky. So I just have to make sure I don't use too much, especially on my forehead because that's where it gets really, really dry. And now I'm just going to take a little fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take the, the powder once again, uh, load it up there. A decent amount and I'm actually going to place this on my under eye circles also so the concealer there doesn't make a big mess okay so now I'm gonna work on my brows first I'm just gonna brush through them a little bit and then I'm gonna use my uh, Too Faced natural eye palette this is the one I always use for my brows because it's beautiful and I'm going to use this color right here it's called velvet revolver I'm going to brush through the first half of my brow with this, right up to the point where it just kind of arches. And now I'm going to take the darker color, this is Sexpresso, and usually I just kind of load it up on with this, sorry, um, tap off the extra, and then recently I've been going in with a little bit more Velvet Revolver because, well, my hair color is kind of washing out a little bit, and so I want to make my eyebrows not so harsh. Now here's where the fun is going to begin. I'm taking this Bare Minerals color in uh, Chameleon. So it's a little bit scary, but 
and it's coming up more blue on camera than it is in real life. It's it's kind of a, uh, a turquoise color with lots of gold shimmer. And then I'm just going to draw on my uh, crease with this color. I'm starting about two-thirds of the way in and bringing it all the way out. I'm going to take just a smudger brush like this, and I'm just going to kind of blend out the edges of that. Now, even more fun, I'm going to take another Bare Minerals color. Um, this one is in Black Ruby. almost looks like a copper color. Actually, I'm going to take the same brush I was using for the chameleon color. And I'm going to use this to draw in the outer V of my eye. And I'm also going to bring it a little bit on my lower lash line. Not too much, just a little bit. Right about into the outer third. Now I'm going to just take the same brush that I was using to blend the chameleon color, and I'm just going to blend out the outer edges of this one just a little bit. It's already pretty blurry, so I'm not going to go too overboard. Now, taking a clean crease brush, um, this one's a lot more flimsy than the than the uh, the more precision brush that I was using a second ago. I'm going to take the same chameleon color, and I'm just going to redefine this color just a little bit in the middle, blending it into the black ruby color. Now, what's left on the brush, I'm actually going to drop below and use on the lower lash line next to the black ruby color that I placed there. Now I'm going to take a third Bare Minerals color. This was a holiday edition, so I don't know if it's available now, but you can use any similar colors you have. This one is called Suspense, and it is, it's a, it's a dark, dark uh, gray, but it has lots of purple and, what else is in here? Mostly purple gl glitters, a little bit of gold and blue as well, but it does its name justice I, I as well. I'm going to take just the same precision brush that I was using to place the colors originally. I'm going to dip it in here just a little bit. These colors, you don't need a lot at all. There's so much in here. Tap away all of the excess. And I'm just actually going to place this on the outer corner. I'm bringing the color out just a little bit to create more of a gradient effect. So it's not so harsh, the lines. And the last color I'm going to be using is, <clears throat> excuse me, an Urban Decay color. This is a very famous oil slick, which is just a black, but it has a ton of glitter in it, as you can see. Be careful when you're using oil slick because half the time I use it, it just ends up all over my face. So I'm going to say I'm going to be using the same precision brush I was using before, and I'm actually just going to drag this across my lash line. Focusing more on the outer lash line than anywhere else. Um, now I'm just going to add mascara. This is just the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. For lipstick, I'm just going to put on uh, Pink Please. This is a Maybelline, I believe it's, yeah, Color Sensational Lipstick five bucks Walmart they're pretty cheap um, but I love the color payout so this is just a nude pink okay so that is our completed look um, let me zoom in so you guys can see what's going on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more bye I mean there's a lot but they're all eight dollars so I think I'm just gonna get two mediums and two smalls and see how it works.